This work is titled Icolith Number 10, and it's a really interesting work within Mavis's practice because usually her works, which are about memories of place and country, are um, collected mem memories over many, many years or many seasons and a, a large time period. However, in this work here, Mavis took a number of people with her to this site, Icolith, including her adopted son, Edgar, who um, is the cultural owner of this site. And what we can see in this work is Mavis and Doris collecting white clay, which is in turn used to paint this work. And her adopted son, Edgar, and her art advisor and friend, Gina, with Gina's young daughter, and her Sydney gallerist, Martin Brown, and a number of art collectors and other people within the community. And so this work really celebrates this one moment in time where Mavis was able to take people to this site, which is so special to her and her family. They arrived to this site by boat, which is um, the same with many of the sites that Mavis would visit. And I think that because many of these sites, you would have to arrive by boat, I feel that that kind of influences the composition of the work where we feel like we are out at sea looking back towards the landscape and back towards um, this gathering where there are people along the shoreline um, fishing and spearing and exploring the shoreline of Icolith.